Well, another LA Unified Elementary School teacher is under investigation, accused of inappropriate contact with at least five students. Sarah Welch joins us live from Live Report. Well, this weekend's cold and rainy weather was not a factor in the 27th annual Honda LA Marathon. Congratulations to everyone who even dared try to do that. And the weather held up, thank goodness, because yeah. last year y'all got soaked. It was clear I this know. year. <laughs> this was very nice indeed. Well, coming up, while we've seen some clear weather today, it has been wild. Well, in today's election news, Mitt Romney is preparing for another major presidential primary while celebrating a weekend win. But it is not all good news for the former governor of Massachusetts. Sandra Endo joins us live in Washington, D.C. with the latest. Hi, Sandra. Hi. That rain that we got over the weekend, nothing compared to what a lot of other people are dealing with. Oh, no, a little bit of snow up in the mountains. Yes, I know a lot of skiers and snowboarders were at least happy to have something. Up. Finally, right. finally. It was a very... All right, Jess, thank you. And more of your top stories are coming up next. Tipios is live in Dana Point with what... Back, these smash and grab robberies happened in a high-end shopping area of Dana Point. Let's go live now to Chip Yost at the scene of one of the crimes with the very latest. Chip. LA Times columnist David Lazarus. He joins us live from the Times newsroom in downtown LA. And David, last week we were talking about all the money Apple has, and now they're doing something with it. The question is, who's going to benefit here? No one saw that. No, no one <laughs> no, saw. I didn't gonna... see that. What did you no, flash? No. No. No, yeah, I'm sure that didn't relate at all to that last story we were doing. Oh, okay. So I, you know, I purely a Freudian slip. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right, let's talk Apple. Who's good? Frosties as well. They're always so good at Wendy's. Too. Oh, yes. And the french fries dipped in one of the Frosties. That <laughs> is an all time. What happened, happened to cucumber, juice? pineapple? What, what happened to you two? Well, you put the french fries in front of us and things just change, Laz. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And the chocolate shakes. That does it too. All right. Thank you so much for that, Laz. And for the latest business news, you can check out latimes.com slash business. And if you haven't tried it, the french fry in mm -hmm. the Frosty. Ah. Yes. I'll have to check yes, it the out. salty and the sweet together. Oh, it's hey. divine. Speaking of money matters here, those gas prices, have you noticed there's been plenty of pain at the pump? According to AAA, all across the country, prices have been increasing again for the 10 days in a row now. Yeah, that's right. And here in the Southland, prices dropped slightly, but they're still higher than the national average. Well, the all-time national average high for gas is 4.11 a gallon set in July 2008. And we are currently about 6.7% below that. Still hurting a lot of people. It is hurting many of us. And coming up here at 1 o'clock, another big budget remake of a beloved kids cartoon. But this one has fans especially furious why they're crying foul over the reboot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There is a retraction on a story we told you about last month linking antidepressants and a decrease in suicides. Well, you know, many of us rely on the snooze button to help them get up every morning, but some experts say snoozing could actually be hurting yourself. Look at that. For the latest health news, click on ktla.com slash health. They think you're sure. stressed. Well, more and more celebrities are lending their names to the tech world. KTLA's tech reporter, Rich DeMuro, takes a look inside some of these new star-studded apps. Thank you. Still to come, a test of skill to celebrate the last few days of winter. We Tonight on the KTLA News at 6 o'clock, we're going to have the latest on the search for a man suspected of shooting his ex-girlfriend and then kidnapping their children. Fascinating. You're teasing us ladies. Fascinating apparently. indeed. Well, making your own beer can be fun for the parents, and now making root beer can be fun for the kids as well. That's right. Allie McKay has a look at Brew Bakers in Huntington Beach, where kids can try their hand at making their own root beer and pretzels. All right. Thanks, Jess. Well, some extreme sport enthusiasts in Pennsylvania closed out the winter in an unusual way.